Celtic mythology, the dream of Maxim, also known as Emperor Maxin. This tale is based on the true story of Magnus Maximus, a 4th century Roman general based in Britain who made a failed bid to become emperor. The story of Maxin, unlike his historical counterpart, is depicted as the true emperor, but one who loses his throne to a usurper. One night, Emperor Maxin dreamed that he had met the most beautiful woman in the world. When he awoke, he set about tracking down the woman. Messengers were sent from Rome to retrace his dream voyage. From the peak of Snowdon, the highest mountain in Wales, they finally spotted the castle in which she lived. When the lady, whose name turned out to be Ellen, was informed of the reason for their coming, she told them that if the emperor was in love with her, then he should come to seek her for himself. Maxen duly arrived with an army, having conquered Britain en route. Ellen agreed to marry him, but asked, as a wedding gift, that her father should be made governor of Britain. She also requested that the Isles of White, Man, and Anglesey become her personal property. Maxen lived with his bride in Britain, which experienced a time of great prosperity and peace. After seven years, however, the Romans chose a new emperor in Maxen's place. The usurped ruler hurried back to Italy to reclaim the throne, but all his attempts to capture the city of Rome itself proved unsuccessful. Then, a year after he had undertaken the siege, a band of British warriors arrived, commanded by Ellen's two brothers. They spotted an opportunity. The rival emperors stopped fighting at noon each day so that their troops could rest. Timing their assault for the midday break, the Britons managed to storm the city. Their reward matched their achievement. Restored to the throne, the emperor gave his British troops a free hand to pillage, and many years passed before they decided to return to their homeland. <laughs>